why you should insist upon a flat or a fixed rate fee agreement with your DCF lawyer in your DCF case in Massachusetts. There are many reasons you should request and insist upon a flat or a fixed rate fee to pay for your entire DCF case. I want to begin by telling you a story, a story about a woman that I was representing years and years ago. We'll call her Barbara. Barbara came into my office and she came in at lunchtime. And I said, Barbara, do you like lunch? She says, I love lunch, Kevin. So she sat down, she had lunch with me. I said, Barbara, why are you here today? So Kevin, I wanted to talk to you. I said, well, I figured that, but about what? Oh, I wanted to talk about the case. I said, then why don't you call me? Why don't you email me? Why don't you send me a letter? Why don't you fax me? Why don't you make an appointment to come in and see me? And she says, Kevin, I didn't call or email. I didn't fax. I didn't write a letter and I didn't make an appointment to come in and see because I didn't know whether it was important or not. And also you'd be billing me. She was afraid to come see me, my most important asset, my client, because I'd be billing her. And I just sat back on my chair and I said, oh my God, my best asset, my biggest asset, my most prized asset is my clients and the communication between myself and my clients. And my clients telling me point blank, I don't want to communicate with you attorney, see, because you're billing me. And I said, that's just crap. I'm not gonna operate this way anymore. I need to hear from my clients. They must communicate with me and vice versa. I need to communicate with them. And so she told me information that day that won her case. It was so critical, so important. And she was afraid to tell me this information. That's crazy, okay? And I don't like to have the first name S-T-U and last name P-I-D as in stupid. And I learned, I learned right there then, no more hourly billing, no more. And very rarely do I do hourly billing. Don't do that, don't do that. Now, why not do that? Well, let's take it, let's break it down. The client's the most important thing on the case. A flat or a fixed rate, you pay one amount, and that's it. There's no more hassle, no more fighting, no more dilemmas about whether you're getting billed or not. So what does that do? Because your client is gonna pick up the phone and call you whenever they need something or want something, and vice versa, I can call them. They willingly take your call. It opens up communication, which is the most important thing in every relationship, especially as a lawyer, client, client, lawyer. And why you put a, a wall between you and your client with an hourly fee agreement where the client saying to himself, he's billing me every time they want to communicate with you is insane. And it develops a natural conflict. A conflict is inherent in every case where it's an hourly billing. So if you've got a flat or a fixed fee, you're not each month getting a surprise in the mail that you have no control over. You give a lawyer a blank check, which is what you're doing when you do an hourly fee agreement, you have no idea what that lawyer is doing for work in the background. And again, what you're paying for is a result. The result is, for example, most clients tell me I want to get DCF in my life, out of my life, quickly, which is understandable, get my case closed fast without losing my children the DCF foster care. That is completely understandable. And what I do is I do a flat fee fixed rate for that entire process. You have to also understand that the flat rate fixed rate is in the client's best interest because then you know exactly what you're paying. When the case is going on, you know that if you've got a fixed or flat rate, the attorney's making no more money. So he's not doing what I like to call milk the cow. If you've got an hourly billing rate, there is no incentive for that lawyer to ever, ever, ever close your case. Why? Because every month he's milking the cow. He's billing you. Whereas if you've got a fixed or flat rate, there's incentive to get the case over as fast as possible. So you know in your heart, in your mind, your body, your soul, that if the case goes beyond what attorney Siva tells you it should go beyond, you know that I want the case closed. So I'm doing everything in my powers to get that case closed as quick, as fast as possible. There's no incentive for me to keep the case open. That's in the client's best interest, to get the case closed as quick, as fast as possible. No question about it. You also have the factor of with a fixed rate, the client has the ability to be able to budget his money with multiple optional installments. 
so that he can or she can pay for the representation. And many a client have told me that I love the fact that I can give them post-dated checks and then every month or every two months, whenever the fact that we work out, they know what they're paying. They know exactly what they're paying. They're not getting surprises in the mail down the road. Now you gotta understand, most lawyers will not do that. And why they won't do that? Because they don't know their business, they don't know DCF, they don't know how to work within the system. And that's why they're afraid to do a flat rate, a fixed rate. Because when you're a competent lawyer and you get great results, you have great confidence in yourself that you can get the case ended in a time frame that is correct for everybody. And you can bill accordingly to work with the client to make sure they're not being milked as a cow.